Hello and welcome to the video IntelliJ IDEA Connect to PostgreSQL Database Server with me, Nam Amin from CodeZava.net. Through this video, I'd like to share with you how to connect to a PostgreSQL Database Server in IntelliJ IDEA using the uh, database tool available in IntelliJ IDEA. So you can perform basic database management tasks right inside IntelliJ IDEA without having to use any external tools. In details, I will show you how to make a new connection to a PostgreSQL database server, how to create a new table, how to manage data in a table, and how to execute some SQL statements. And I'm using the following software programs, Java Development Kit and IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition, and PostgreSQL Server version 13. This is IntelliJ IDEA on my computer. As you can see, I'm using IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, Ultimate Edition version 2020.1 here. And to work with the relation uh, database, uh, you need to open the database uh, view. So in IntelliJ IDEA, you can uh, see the database view uh, on the right side of the IDE here. And from here, you can create a new data source that uh, we uh, allow you to work with a specific database. If you don't see this database window, you can open it from the menu uh, uh, view uh, to windows and database here. Now I'm going to make a new connection to a local instance of PostgreSQL database running on my computer. So click the plus button here, data source, and choose uh, PostgreSQL from the list. Here you need to uh, enter some information for the data source. Name is, for example, shop me DB on local PostgreSQL. And the host name is localhost, default port number uh, 5432, yeah, authentication user and password, user postgres and password. And you can see the ZDBC URL here. I want to work with the database name, shop me. And you need to click the download. Uh, link here to download the ZDBC driver for PostgreSQL. And you can see in the RJ idea, we download the ZDBC driver automatically. Here you see the details of the ZDBC driver for PostgreSQL uh, version 42.2.5 here. And then click the test function button. And you can see Success with a green check mark here, and it shows the details of the database server version 13.1 here. And click OK. And you can see the new connection appears uh, in the database window here. Show me DB on local PostgreSQL. And you can click the arrow here to expand the connection, and you can see the database is shop me schema public, and you can see there are two tables products and students here. You can see the columns in each table here, and from here, you can right click to see the context menu to see what you can perform with the database uh, object here yeah, IntelliJ IDEA allows you to create a new table sequence uh, um, refine structure of the table uh, perhaps everything uh, almost everything you can do with the database uh, tool right inside IntelliJ IDEA and you can notice that IntelliJ IDEA opens the query console here that allows you to write, edit, and execute uh, SQL statements here. And under the services view at the bottom here, you can see the connection to the database and session for each uh, table.
Yeah. Now I will create a new table. So right click on the tables node here, new table. And enter the table name, you know, for example, customers. And click the plus button here to add some new columns. You can see the SQL script right below here. The first column is the ID column type integer not no auto increment. Uh, primary key and you can see until the idea automatically generates the SQL statement according to the uh, database dialect which is for PostgreSQL here you can see the serial uh, attribute for the ID column here is you know, PostgreSQL and click the plus, plus button here to add some more columns first underscore name type uh, vacha bit size is uh, 40 not no and the third column is last name last underscore name type vacha size is 40 not no that's it, and you can see the SQL script here. And to create this table, click the execute button. And you can see the new table customers uh, appears here. And you can see the columns uh, ID, first name, last name. So it is very uh, easy, very cool, right? And I want to um, add some new rows into this new table customers. So we can uh, double click on the table name and in the IntelliJ idea we open the table editor and you can see the content of the table will be displayed in the on table here. You can click the plus button here to add a new row. I want to add uh, three rows at once. So I enter the first name is Nam. Last name, name, first name, Ravi, first name, Kuma, first name, Alex, first name, Stevenson. Okay, and when done, you can uh, click the yeah, here, you see the submit button here. Click the submit button here or press the shortcut key, control enter to commit the changes to the PostgreSQL database server. And uh, in the services uh, window at the bottom, you can see the uh, details of the execution of the SQL statement. And you can see three uh, uh, SQL insert statements here to the customer's table here. And uh, followed by the select statement to refresh the table content here. Now I want to uh, update uh, data in another table. In the products table here, double click and you can see the content of the table here. And I want to update the price uh, for the products. Uh, Amazon Echo price is 100 and Google Pixel 5 price is. 678 and you click the submit button here to commit the changes and you can see the result of uh, the execution of the SQL update statements here followed by the SQL statement that refreshes the table content here and now next I want to delete some rows in another table table, table students here Double click and you can see there are two uh, rows here in the table. I want to delete all, so I select all two rows and click the minus button here to delete rows. And you can see the rows are marked in gray. And to commit the changes, you click the submit button here. Done. You can see the table is now empty.
and you can see the uh, execution of the SQL delete statements here. Perfect, right? So you can see it is very easy, convenient uh, to manage data in a table right inside IntelliJ IDEA. And when finished working uh, with the table, you should close the table tab here or close the session uh, in the services view here. Mm, right click, close session here. Right click, close close session here. Now I want to write and execute some SQL statements. So as you can see by default, uh, IntelliJ ID opens a SQL console here that allows you to write, edit, and execute SQL statements against the currently opened uh, database. If you don't see this uh, query console, you can uh, right click on the connection name here and open query console here. Now I type the SQL statement. Select uh, asterisk uh, from the table hmm. customers. And to execute this SQL statement, you can click the execute button here. And you can see the result of the execution below here. This is the content of a query that returns some result here, the content of the customers table. And in the output, you can see the execution status of the SQL select statements here. Now I want to write another SQL statement. Mm, update customer set. Mm, I want to update uh, name of customer with ID 3. Set uh, first name equal John where ID equal 3 and to execute this uh, SQL statement only you select it and click the um, execute button here or you can uh, right click and execute here it's better to select and click the execute button here and you can see the result, the status update uh, statement here. And I will execute this select statement to see the result. And you can see the first name has been updated to John here. Perfect. So you can see it is also very easy and convenient to write, edit, and execute SQL statement right inside IntelliJ IDEA. And when uh, finished working with the database, you should close the connection. Uh, you can right click on the connection name and click disconnect or click the disconnect button here. Okay, and so you see, IntelliJ IDEA has disconnected from the PostgreSQL database server. So you have learned how to connect and manage the PostgreSQL database right inside IntelliJ IDEA. And you can see the database uh, True in IntelliJ IDEA is very advanced. You can do almost everything with a database right inside the IDE. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.